The Bucs put themselves in rarefied air with a win last week, improving to 6-0. Oh. Only two other ETSU teams have done it, 1969 and 1936. Neither of those teams got a win in game number seven. So Randy Sanders and company in Chattanooga with history on the line. And there's some hardware that goes with this one. The rail rivalry renewed this afternoon in Chattanooga. A lot of ping pong in the first half. Tyler Rydell back to pass. Jarrell Lawson going to take it away for the Mox. Three turnovers for the Bucks in this one, but it didn't hurt them much in the first half because the Mox here, they're driving. Cole Copeland floats one out towards the end zone. Elijah Huzzy comes up with the INT for the Bucks. This one was just 7-0 Chattanooga at the half. In the second half, a few big plays on the ground from both sides. Aleem Ford, big hole, 49 yards for the house call. 14-3 is the Chattanooga lead, but Jacob Sailors, he has that same big playability, a little hesitation, and he explodes. 54 yards. No one's going to touch him. 14 to 10 is the score now, but another ETSU turnover leads to Tyrell Price and another dangerous run. The senior goes 58 yards and he won't be caught. 21 to 10. Mox had three rushing touchdowns on the day. The Bucks got one late, but it wasn't enough as they suffered their first loss of the season 21 16. News Channel 11's Jesse Crawl wraps this one up. Well, Nick, history was on the line for ETSU because with the win over Chattanooga, the Buccaneers could move to 7-0 for the first time in school history. Now, the game lived up to the hype, but the Buccaneers' offense, well, not so much. Well, the reason we lost is they made plays when they had to on offense, and we weren't able to make them on offense. I thought, uh, you know, we had a couple of bad breaks go against us in the game. Uh, but we didn't make enough of our own breaks. This is one of those losses that, that does sting, that does hurt. Uh, if we're made of the right stuff, we'll put it behind us and we'll move forward, learn what we can from it. Uh, I told him you, you can't let Chattanooga beat you twice. Well, Nick, the John City squad has put this one in the rearview mirror because they have another tough one at Furman next week. In Chattanooga, Jesse Crawl, News Channel 11 Sports.